though it's true that, um, that it was in the 1100s that the concept was first systematically employed, I think that one can see, what do you want to call it, foreshadowings of it before, and it'd be surprising if, if uh, you couldn't find that. For example, the great preacher of Constantinople um, in the 300s, 400s, was John Chrysostomos. Uh, John has um, seven sermons on the New Testament parable of Lazarus and the uh, rich man. And in the course of those sermons, he says in one place, uh, the extra shoes of the wealthy person belong to the poor person who has no shoes. Now, he doesn't use any language that can be translated as rights. The poor person has a right. But listen to this language of belongs to. So John doesn't appeal to the charity of the uh, well-to-do person. It's those shoes belong to the poor person. Now, I think that's, you might say, a recognition of right without using the language of rights.